A sign displayed during Washington and Jefferson College women's championship basketball game over the weekend has students and parents upset. College administrators say the sign was intended to harass, and disrespect, and hurt a player on the opposing team, Westminster College. Amy Wattis is live with more on what happened and how WNJ is handling the situation. Amy. Ken, Saturday's game took place at the Salviti Gymnasium, Family Gymnasium here on WNJ's campus. Now, a spokesperson says the student holding up the sign was a WNJ football player and is no longer enrolled here. Now, this is a picture of the sign. Take a look. It spread quickly all over social media. The sign displayed the date 10 14 13, but WNJ says the sign was intended to, to target a Westminster women's basketball player player. That player's mom, who was at the game, posted on Facebook saying that's the date her daughter's dad passed away. And she says this isn't the first time something like this has happened. She said the last time her daughter played at WNJ, there were a group of boys in the student section yelling, quote, 35, where's your dad? She said she's disgusted they would use the worst day in her daughter's life as a tactic to get into her head. We talked to a few students on campus today. The school's values are raising people of uncommon integrity. Mm -hmm. So, like, our athletes, like, especially should be showing that. Like, those are the people that are at the forefront of the school. I feel like they should be the ones that take the school's values and themselves more seriously. I think it's awful, honestly. It's, it's just borderline psychopathic to go to extreme lengths just to hurt someone or distract them by such a deep and hurtful comment. It's in a statement, WNJ says this type of behavior has no place at the college and are continuing to investigate and determine whether other students were involved. Meantime, Westminster College put out a statement sta saying in part, we stand by all of our tight and strong student athletes. We expect our student athletes to lead with integrity and we encourage passionate fan participation from both teams, but do not, do not condone disrespectful or hurtful actions targeted at players. We appreciate WNJ's swift response and decisive action in this case. Now, we also heard from WNJ's head football coach. We'll tell you what he has to say about all of this. He posted a response in a tweet that's coming up tonight at 6 on KDKA. Reporting live tonight, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.